The banner scripture is this. Jesus said to him, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe. John chapter 4 and verse 48. So the sky is not what we think. There's a lot that happens up there besides what we can see with our naked eyes, weather, clouds, and things like that. But the Lord has shown me in many dreams that the sky is a multi-dimensional thing that has life in it and also has life behind it. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this prophecy. As we get closer to the revelation of these things where they will come to common knowledge of everyone, usually the breaking down of long-standing structures, belief systems, and lies that we have been taught all our lives, when it comes time for these things to be broken down, this is when the Lord begins to push me out in front and say, go ahead of me and reveal these things so that they can know. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is the fact that the sky is a dome. The sky is a dome. It is a curvy dome-like structure that's made of a very hard material that human beings cannot break. I don't know why the Lord put it that way, but I think he wants it to be understood because for all we know, people may be working somewhere to try and break this dome, but no matter what they do, they will never be able to break this dome because the Lord says that the substance that makes up this dome that we also know as the firmament from Genesis chapter 1 cannot be cracked by man. The Lord also said that long ago, the devil was successful in deceiving the whole world into thinking that he is free of the confines of this dome. In other words, Satan has, through coming up with alternate truths, led this world to believe, God said, that he's free to travel the galaxies and free to travel the solar systems and whatever. But from what I have seen and understood from the Lord, there is a cap on top of this world, which makes Satan as much a prisoner underneath this dome as we are. And the fallen angels are extremely angry because nothing they have ever been able to do allows them to escape the prison of the dome. They cannot get out of the overall dome. That's the first thing. But then they also cannot get into the part of the dome where we are. So they are under this dome as we are, but then there is some kind of separation between where they are and where we are, and they cannot penetrate into the part that we are for now. This is only the keeping power of the Lord. Unfortunately, it is not going to stay like that forever. All of these are signs that the Lord has put in the heavens to alert the people of this, this world that we are coming to a point where our time of dominion as human beings is about to be shut down completely. And we are about to move into a new era and experience of life where the supernatural will no longer be hidden from people's eyes. The supernatural will be completely visible to men, women, and children, whether they are brave enough to handle the revelation of the supernatural or not. I try to warn people on this channel all the time that it doesn't matter if you are pre prepared, unprepared, whether you believe the things I say or you mock and scoff and throw them away. When the end times reach a point where it is no longer possible to hide where we are on God's prophetic clock. Things will begin to follow the natural order that you can find in the book of Revelation, the book of Matthew chapter 24, the book of Mark 13. Things will follow the God-ordained order, whether you are ready for them or not, whether you are Christian, Hindu, Baha'i, Muslim, it does not matter if your faith has not prepared you for the things to come. The Bible is the only book that carries comprehensive truth about the end times, and I am sent by the Lord to let people know that ready or not, these times are coming, and so the wise person will listen.